even today, um, I think there is a need for community newspapers, for community media. Some of the, 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 the progress, some of the major achievements some of these young people make never get mentioned, except in their local newspapers or their local media. The ethnic media, multilingual media, is not a new phenomenon in Canada. Uh, it was here from the 1800s. And many people think that this only started in the late 60s or 70s or post-World War II. We have seen um, expansion in different areas, certainly in the beginning, print, it was very heavy in print. Now we've seen expansion and success, successful expansion in radio, um, ethnic radio, and television continues to, um, to evolve and grow. Our uh, subject matter is for Canadians, by Canadians, uh, rather than uh, from what's happening back home, which, you know, in terms of uh, content is, is, is a lot of is not relevant to uh, those uh, migrant workers and Filipino Canadians that's been living here um, that, that might find, you know, uh, why don't we highlight our own community here? I want to see our own artists on stage. I want to see our own athletes being uh, featured. I want to see our own basketball games. Ethnic media uh, play a dual role. That is, they provide a news about here, the country of uh, settlement, as well as there, the country of um, origin. I'm often asked, well, you know, everybody's speaking English now, everybody's speaking, you know, French. Um, what's the point of ethnic media? It's the editorial perspective. And it's also that it's a trust factor as well, that one will trust information in one's own language of comfort. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of, uh, the, the culture is here, but the, uh, the community is not being represented. We all read the dailies and they don't cover the various communities unless it's this crisis. There are a lot of positive things that are happening in a lot of the communities that never get covered. But if there's a crisis, if there's crime and whatever, guys go into the communities, spend an hour, come out and it's the page one story. So the, the Canadian Ethnic Media Association, um, Ethnocultural, Ethnic Media Directory, um, we've been working on for a couple of years. And this was in response to, you know, seeing outdated ethnic media lists. So to date, we have verified 1,200 uh, media entities. And often you have the phenomena where the 49th parallel doesn't matter, where these um, media entities will reach out to all of those in North America as well. That is why it's so important that the Canadian Ethnic Media Association make sure that it stands up for what is right, and encourages media, ethnic media, to stay alive and that we tell our stories because nobody else is going to do it for us.